Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I have a DIY fiddle fig for you today. However, we're gonna be creating a smaller scale one. We have a larger one in the living room and I love it so much, but I'd really like to have a smaller one to put on shelves and that kind of thing. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's go ahead and get started with the project. All right, so let me give you a rundown of the supplies that I grabbed to create this miniature fiddle fig little potted plant. The first thing, of course, you need your leaves. So this is from Hobby Lobby. It was normally $15.99, but it was half off, so it's about $8. I also have a terracotta pot that is painted white. This is from Ikea, but you could use a metal pot too, so kind of just use what you have on hand or what matches your decor. I also have two colors of brown chalk paint by Waverly. These are the colors hazelnut and truffle. I also have some foam, which is going to go in our terracotta pot here. These are from the Dollar Tree. Two foam paint brushes, one for each color over here. Some floral tape, uh, Spanish moss, which is from the Dollar Tree, and then a three eighths inch dowel rod. And now we're gonna go ahead and get started by putting our foam into the terracotta pot. All right, so this is just a scrap piece that I already had, so I'm gonna use this to put in here, but this is a great tip from my mom, actually, and that was to just leave the plastic on it. There's no, really no reason you, that you need to take it off. And all you have to do is just push it down, and then that plastic sort of just keeps your mess at a minimum so you don't get the styrofoam all over the place. I really wanna get this down in there. I want it a little bit below the rim so we don't see it. All right, so now my plastic is starting to come off, so now I can take this off here, and that way the uh, styrofoam mess stays contained, and then we don't have this plastic sort of flopping around when we go to work with it. All right, so now that I have my styrofoam in there, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the leaves here. Just take the tag off. I'm gonna remove the jute that's kind of holding these all together. I'd really like to only use one or two of the stems. It comes with three stems. And that way I can use the other one somewhere else and I'm getting more for my money that way. However, I also want this to be full. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and use two of these stems instead of all three, because I think that's gonna be plenty full enough. If you want yours fuller, of course, you could go and use all three of them. And then my idea with this dowel rod was to give this some height. However, I think this is actually gonna be plenty high. If you want yours taller, my idea was to cut your dowel rod down to size and then you can actually kind of tie it in with these and we're going to wrap it with some floral tape so you can kind of hide it and that way it extends the length of your stems and gives your uh, tree a little bit more height but i think mine is going to be plenty tall enough without the dowel rod so i'm going to forgo that and I'm just gonna use my floral tape here and wrap it around these two stems so that they stay together. All right, and here is the the stems all bundled up with the floral tape and the idea behind this is you wrap it and you pull it and when you pull it, it releases a tacky type blue. So the more you pull on it, you don't wanna to pull too hard because it will rip, but you just twist it around and it will hold and cling onto itself because it'll release that stickiness. 
And now I'm gonna go get my glue gun out and I'm just going to put this into the foam right in the middle, make a hole, pull it out, put the glue in and reinsert the stem so that they stay in place. All right, so here's what we've got so far, super simple. Um, the only thing is, is right now our stems do not look like a trunk of a tree. So that's why I have the two brown chalk paints over here and I'm gonna kind of give it a more realistic look and just pounce on the two different colors to give it more of a variated uh, tree bark look. And I'm just gonna use my foam paint brushes to do that. All right, so here's a close-up look and it looks so much better now. And now I just need to hide the styrofoam in here. So I'm gonna take my hot glue, put that on top of the styrofoam and then throw some Spanish moss in to cover it all up. And then I'll be all ready to go. And here's a look at this adorable tree. I love it so much. I think it's so cute and it was really simple and inexpensive to make too. I wanted to kind of hold it up and show you so you could see sizing. Uh, I know it's a little bit harder to tell when it's sitting on a shelf or a chair or something like that. So it is about 18 inches tall. So it's not a teeny tiny tree. It's not really super miniature, but compared to the larger size fig trees that you see uh, available in stores, I think this is such an adorable, uh, kind of recreation of it. I hope this tutorial inspired you and that you take a second to give it a thumbs up for me You can also hit the subscribe button stick around and join me every single Monday Wednesday and Friday for new DIYs tutorials and new inspiration Thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone